If you own a Spider F3 and you've been on the lookout for a drink holder solution, check this out. Our new side mount drink holder from the team over at Spider Zone. This sleek and stylish drink holder is conveniently located on the side of the bike so it's easy to reach. It's perfectly situated so that it does not obstruct your leg position while riding. The drink holder kit is available in both the left and right side configuration and features a steel black powder coated mounting bracket that boasts the iconic Spider F3 insignia to complement your ride. The drink holder also offers an adjustment screw so that you can adjust the width of the holder itself to accommodate different size beverages. And if you want to take things up a notch, we also offer an optional red LED backlight that illuminates the drink holder and showcases your unique style like never before. And now that you know what this mod is and what it can do for you, allow our team to take you through the installation process. Before you begin, make sure that you're parked on level ground, that your parking brake is engaged, and that the ignition is off. Start by adding a washer to each of the two Allen bolts. Then insert those bolts with washers through both the top and bottom hole on the plastic drink holder assembly. Then align those two bolts with the two holes in the drink holder bracket, adding a nylock nut to each. Finger tight for now. Then snug down the hardware with a 1 8 inch Allen wrench and a 3 8 socket with ratchet, making sure not to over tighten. The drink holder should lie flush on the metal bracket once tightened down. Next, clean underneath the top side of the drink holder bracket with an alcohol prep pad and allow it to dry so that you can attach the two included adhesive silicone squares, like so. If you purchased the optional LED backlight, you'll need to clean the backside of the bracket underneath the Spider F3 cutout with an alcohol prep pad and allow it to dry. Once dry, apply the included adhesion promoter to the same surface area and let that dry. Now grab your LED board and peel the backing film off of the two adhesive strips. Carefully align the LED board on the back side of the bracket so that the wiring harness is facing up and so that the LED board is pressed against the nylock nut used to hold in the drink holder then press firmly to adhere into place. Next, clean the back side of the LED board with an alcohol wipe on the side closest to the drink holder and allow that to dry. Then attach the included plastic zip tie square and press firmly into place. Zip tie the wiring harness from the LED board to the zip tie square we just adhered. Using a T25 Torx wrench, remove these four screws. Then remove this service panel so that you can remove these three plastic push pins. Then press the ignition key in and turn it to the left so that you can open the frunk and remove the side body panel. Locate the wiring harness that's marked as the customer accessory circuit and cut the zip tie holding it in place. The accessory circuit wires have a protective coating at the end of the harness from the factory. We'll need to cut off the protective coating and peel back the wiring harness tape so that we can access the two wires underneath. Use wire strippers to strip the ends of these two wires. The black wire is ground and the colored wire is positive. Now grab one of the included lever locks, pull up on one of the orange tabs and apply a dab of dielectric grease before inserting the colored positive wire into the lever lock. 
Then close the orange tab back down to lock the wire into place. Then grab the other lever lock, add a dab of dielectric grease, lift up on one of the orange tabs and insert the black ground wire into the lever lock and close the orange tab. Next, strip the ends off both the red and black wires coming off of the small black connector included with your kit. You'll connect the black wire from the included harness to the lever lock with the black wire and the red wire from the harness to the other lever lock with the colored wire. It should look like this once your connections are made. If you're installing both the left and right side drink holders with optional LEDs, you'll need to use the included Y harness. Adding a dab of dielectric grease before connecting both extension wires. One extension is for the left side LED and one is for the right. If you're only installing one drink holder like us, then add a dab of dielectric grease to the small black connector we just installed and connect one of the extension harnesses included with the kit. Then route the wiring down to the side frame bar, zip tying any excess slack up and out of the way of any and all moving parts. Now let's test our handiwork by plugging the extension harness into the harness coming from the LED on the drink holder. Then start the bike so that you can ensure that the LED illuminates. If everything looks good, turn off your engine and reinstall your side body panel with the factory hardware and push pins. Then you can reinstall your service panel and close the frunk. Now use an 8mm Allen wrench to remove this bolt and frame cap. Remove the bolt from the frame cap as the factory bolt will not be reused. Next grab the new bolt included with the kit and insert it through the hole on the outside of the drink holder bracket. Then slide over the included spacer on the back side of the bracket. Apply the included thread locker to the threads at the end of the bolt. Then slide the bolt back through the factory frame cap and reinstall finger tight for now. Before snugging it back down. Lastly, add a dab of dielectric grease to the plug coming off the LED light on the drink holder bracket and plug it into the harness we ran earlier. If staying hydrated is important to you, head over to slingmods.com or click the link in the description below to grab a drink holder kit for your F3. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest mods for the Spider. I'm Jen, signing out. We'll see you next time.